guys, today I'm going to show you how to make the fake Valentine's Day sugar cookies. Right here, they look pretty real. I got two tones of pink here that I made. And uh, it's pretty easy and quick little project. What you're going to need is your air dry clay and your featherweight speckling. In Canada, it's the Beauty Tone, is the name brand. It's a lightweight crack filler. You need your craft paints. Um, your matte Mod Podge, cookie cutter, and rolling pin. So here we go. Here I have pre-mixed is the spackle in a shade of pink here, already mixed up. And just mix up your craft paint with your spackle. Um, that's all that is there. So here I got the air dry clay. I'm going to roll it out like this. Not too thin and not too thick. This over here seems to be a little better. And this takes a couple days to dry. Just keep that in mind. I usually put it on the windowsill. I have a radiator underneath and I put it on the win windowsill and it dries. Helps it dry a little quicker. So, that's about thick enough. Here we go. Coin cutter and we're gonna press right down hard. And there we go, got our cookie laid out. And I'm gonna set aside and let it dry. And here I got pre-mixed my paint. Um, I use white, bright yellow, antique white, and light antique white. And I just mix it up to a shade that I prefer. So it makes a light, creamy color. So here we're gonna pretend that this one is dry, still not completely dry, but We'll just pretend so we're going to give it a coat of paint here i actually do two coats of this paint and then once it's all dry and i always do the back first actually just to make it look neater especially if you want to sell them you can um, paint the back and we're just going to quickly make sure you get on the edges good here and like i said it's going to need two coats and it dries pretty quick all the way around so once you do do that um, you put a coat of Mod Podge the matte I like the matte because I don't want it to be too shiny so that's why I use the matte instead of the gloss so once you do that and let it dry your cookie is ready for frosting so we're gonna get here a spackle that is already mixed and you're going to notice that sometimes it's a little bit hard to um, spread it on sometimes where you have the Mod Podge onto there because um, it doesn't want to always stick right good but you'll get it after all just can play with it for a little bit and if you want you can always add a little water to your mixture to your spackle here and it makes it stick a little better as I'm spreading this, I want to give a little shout out to Davida Lane. Um, she also has a YouTube channel where she does fake sweets. And she's a, such a sweet lady and uh, I want you to go check her out. So please give her some love and go watch her videos. She lives in California, so it's pretty neat. So as I'm spreading here, let's on like that. and of course remember when your spackle dries it dries a little darker than than what than your mixture so always remember that when you mix up your speckle I always test my stuff all my uh, Mod Podge and all my spackle I let it dry I mix colors and then I set it aside and I let it dry and uh, and see what the color turns out to look like I'm kind of fussy with my colors I'm gonna be honest with you guys I'm fussy <laughs> Things need to blend. <laughs> Some people aren't as fussy, but that's good. It's good not to be too fussy, to be honest. There you go. And we've got the cookie all spread out. And then you let set that aside and you let it dry. So it's pretty simple, pretty quick. Anyone can do it. Pretty cheap little project. And you look really sweet in your kitchen. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.